right, as always, what is up you guys, and of course always welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell. Yet again, going to do the <laughs> Luxury Team, what's gonna call it, which basically has become somewhat of a just realistic web team that just basically abuses very slow Pokemon to get something ahead. And this looks to be a very important game for sticky webs. Now there are two things here that stands out for me. First and foremost, um, we don't see a Weber, but we see potential Leaf Foggers and Scissor, and we see potentially score change in, um, I was gonna say, um, Cinderace. There are two Pokemon that are absolutely problematic. Ooh. But I need webs, because if I don't get webs up, I believe I am in a, like a Catch-22, I think it's called, where I can't move around freely, and um, Cinderace should be heavy duty boots anyway, so that's gonna be annoying. Um, I think I'll lead off with uh, with Palosand here. I think it does all right. The only like real threat it has against it would be um, Vaporeon, I think. Palosand overall looked to be a good defensive matchup, but you see his team there look tough. It looked to be the part. I think Lapras forces me out too. So let's see what he decides to lead off with. Serora. And it's the white beast of Amon. Now, do I want to get the easy rocks up? I feel I do. He should be feeling to want to get out. He didn't have any floaters on his team, did he? So maybe. No. No floaters. So I actually think Scorching Sand is better. Even if he could be carrying knockoff. He switches out. Maybe that one's an easy play to Ombreon, yeah. I was gonna just say, Armin looks to be just one of those very easy switch ins in a beast ball. So let's see, Scorching Sand could get the burn, but that would mean that I get burned too. Um, like versus Armin, I don't have that many options in. I'm gonna send in your food. I basically for I feel a foul play, or like I said, they're toxic. I'm gonna do for a bandage U turn directly because I won't stay into this. Let's see, foul play, and that should do a lot. Even if he's resisted, it should do a lot. But if I were him, I'd probably send in my um, Dragapult on a potential close combat. Right? Right? Switch! One thing I really, really think was a mistake with this Pokemon, as I'm using it right now, is that it has access to Aqua Jet. That is not such a bad move to have. Right, switches out, like I said, Dragapult. Yeah, yeah. I like that I make those calls, even though it doesn't necessarily matter, because I still don't really have a switching towards that. But, that did a whole lot. Um, the way I see it, like I can get that Moonblast and that will be phenomenal. I can also Quiver Dance and that will pressure him quite a lot. I think Scissor is such a safe switch in though. But he could try to risk it. I do want to preserve my Sash if I can. Um, goes for Fire Blast. So it brings me down to the Sash. Don't get me burned. Yes, and Moonblast will knock that Dragapult out. So that was a life or variant. That was actually quite nice. So this Moonblast should knock him out. I think I said it twice. Just want to enforce that feeling that I am not without doubt of what I do. Which I... Yeah, you know, I won't admit that. You know, I'm clearly in control. Um, Alright, that's a very green scissor. <laughs> yeah. Thing is here, like it can't do anything potentially unless it's Soul Stance versus my. Like this could be risky. Let's see, Bullet Punch is alright. Not that impressive. Scorching Sand should get him potentially burned. And he should feel that even if he wants a Soul Stance. Or Umbreon comes back in. I want to set up Stealth Rock so badly. 
I really do. Yeah, that is a soul stand. So something is kind of fearing. It's always lingering. So, right, it's time for that 30% chance to kick in. Yeah, there I go. Nice. And it actually did all right when it comes to the damage output too. So I think I followed that up with a Shadow Ball. Um, once he goes for Bullet Punch, it won't do that impressive now. And this next Shadow Ball is going to pretty much closing him on that KO. I don't want him knocked out though. Good. Uh, because I do want to shore up. I'm telling you guys, Palosan is like one of those mods that just makes a ton of sense for this matchup. Like, I really like Palosan. Um, like now with Hidden Paragon, it actually turns out to be quite a frustrating ground type to be dealing with. So the thing is, do you want to keep bullet punching? I still haven't got my webs up. So it is kind of problematic. Um, yeah, we, we, not, we try to knock this guy out and... Uh, no, Stealth Rocks. We go absolute Stealth Rocks. Right, because the burn will kill him, and then I get some damage on the lappers. I wanted to just keep shoring up, but quite frankly, stealth rocks makes more sense, and I need them. <sighs> because I think the lappers comes in here. Is either that, or if Cinderace comes in, I do believe I have a way of recovering myself. Cinderace can't do anything besides powerballing, which I don't believe gets the damage. The lappers, however, can absolutely get it. Wasn't heavy duty boots. And yeah, your Shifu is the switch in. Um, he could Dynamax and go for um, his synergy move and get Veil up. Freeze try, alright. We take those. But yeah, that's. That wasn't necessarily that impressive. Choice pen and close combat, let's go. Withdraws Lapras, sacks Umbreon, okay. Truly, truly sacking it. Alright, right, think about this. Think about this. Can I beat Lapras? Can I beat Lapras without your Shifu? Does it matter? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Rocky Helmet, what a mad lad. Okay. Okay. I really want webs up, but I... I don't think I can pull that off. Because I think he's switching... Like, I'm switching Palace anyway. I want to see Cinderace, and I want to shore up. There we go. Nice. Um... And it's heavy duty boots, for sure. No, it isn't. I was like, do the damage, do the damage. But yeah, he could sucker punch me, and more likely he's going to powerball me. But I think I force him out to Lapras. Yeah, there's a sucker punch. Go figure. I'm telling you guys, Pallet Sand is just one of those mounts. Makes a ton of sense to use. I get so surprised that oh this is this was not what I wanted to see though Dynamaxing you fiend you fiend fight me like a man <laughs> okay let's see how screwed am I versus this max the darkness yeah it's the way it was at least gonna pop the culber but yeah this is this is way above me isn't it Maybe not, actually. Look at that. Look at that. We'll do special defense, and that's no problem, actually. Scorching Sand. It does all right. I mean, it's not terrible. Maybe... Maybe I should think about this. He's gonna go for Max Darkness again, for sure.
Yeah, we, we sacked this because I really can't stop it. And then we actually... That key makes fireball though. Uh, <laughs> absolute mad lad. Is he gonna Dynamax you? His Palo is kind of in good range. I think I actually do this. This might actually be Luxury's chance. Come on, Argus. I need you to work on this. We're gonna go for Max Guard. Um, probably easiest play I never thought I would have to make, but depending on how he wants to do this. He is thinking, he is thinking. Because I can easily go for um, a superpower afterwards. Uh, he just decided to stay in, so we're gonna get him out of his. The only thing like, I re really regret here is I don't get to pull off an agility, but quite frankly, with the HP I'm at, or rather the situation I'm at, there is no way I can pull that off. The mons remaining are easily knocking Luxray out, or at least forcing him down. This looks cool though. This looks way cool. Like I try to avoid Dynamaxing, but at the same time, I love using it. Alright. Try me now, buddy. Try me now. So I guess his play should be going for... Um, none of these lowers the speed stat, right? Yeah, that one does. That could be plenty. Because that one is always weaker. Yeah, lower the speed. I don't need extra power. Powerball does all right. Because I think it could potentially not knock him out. But it did. Like, there was nothing to it. That was, that, he was gone. He was gone. He was way gone. I think Luxray is actually pulling this off. All he needed was to be forced to Dynamax. Like I said, I try to avoid Dynamaxing myself in battle. I think it's a cheap strat, but at the same time, my god, do I love it. Alright, so... Could a close combat potentially take me down? Or at least could a burn potentially get me there? That's, that's where I'm at. Play rough. We take those. We take those. So get his speed decrease, which is going to be really significant. Oh, it absolutely kills him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Luxray. That guts boost. You don't fuck around with that. You don't fuck around with that. Oh, Luxray. I knew you'd come through eventually. I've been waiting on you to work. <laughs> Bit surprised I decided to power or actually go with them um, not not that I'm actually his lap as I feel you know that Royal Veil strat is way worse oh don't DC on me buddy let me finish the job <laughs> but yeah this is actually I'm impressed I'm this was way way more interesting than I thought it would be and um, that was kind of stressful wasn't it so question is wild charge superpower I kind of want to kill myself. Then again, Ice Shard could actually kill me from this range. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do one shard. Let's see. Am I faster? I am faster, right? Gonna ruin him. There we go. And the recall will absolutely kill me, but it's gonna be worth it. Ooh. Hang on, though. We hanged on. <laughs> ah, cool. All right. That was actually quite. I'll say it. Kind of tense. <laughs> kind of a tense game. Uh, so GG's my opponent, Lucian. That was, like I said, that was a good game. I didn't think I was going to hold off both Cinderace and Zero and that speed tier is just something else for me. But um, I held on. I held on.
and I think I own it to Palos Sand actually to to never really waver in that matchup. But anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.